What's up, man? 25 gamers. In today's scheme of the week video, we're gonna be taking a look at the best pressure that we can get from a zone look out of the 416 playbook, or excuse me, the Carolina playbook and the 416 formation that we're breaking down this week. So, um, to, to illustrate this, we'll just come out in a wide trips formation here and show you guys how to get zone pressure out of the nickel 416 package in the Carolina playbook. And uh, the play I like to use for the uh, zone blitz is the Sugar 3 DB Fire. And what you want to do here is you want to just base align and press coverage. And you see you're going to get your proper alignment that we like to get. All right. And then we're just going to slide Harris in. Now, this is the easy setup, and that's going to get you pressure off the left edge. There's a couple of advanced setups to this that we can use to get pressure off of the left edge, setting fewer guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to baseline press, slide Harris in, and now we're going to get a Jesty with the backside blitzers. We're going to spy uh, Knighton in here, and then we're going to contain uh, Duke and Nashio here. And you're, you're going to see the pressure still going to come in, but now we have a spy and contain, uh, which is good for coverage out of this. Uh, it improves your coverage and helps contain mobile quarterbacks. And then the next thing we can do is we can get... Um, pressure off of the right edge with this setup as well. So we'll put Harris here in a buzz zone. We'll quarterback spy Ayers. We'll quarterback spy Jackson. And we'll re-blitz Wolf here. And now you're going to see you're going to get pressure off that right edge just like we got it out of the sugar blitz but now you're in a zone look. And then lastly we can get pressure off of both edges. We're going to baseline press. Slide in Harris. And then we're just going to make one more adjustment. Just re-blitz Wolf. And now you're going to get pressure off of both edges. Why is it good to get pressure off both edges? Well, in situations where your opponent will start blocking halfbacks or tight ends, this now makes it a lot easier for us to deal with that and get the same pressure, sending one extra guy, and then maybe put Bailey in a hook zone, play an aggressive defense underneath it. And you see just a really good play, guys. So add this to your playbook for your zone blitz. Remember, the first setup we're going to go over through real quick, First, we're going to show you the first setup. The easy setup is to just base line press, slide Harris in like this, and you're going to get pressure off the left edge. All right. Second setup is a little, is the more advanced uh, version of the first setup. We're going to base line press, quarterback spy Knighton, in, slide Harris in, and then quarterback contain Duke and Nescio here. And now you're going to see pressure still going to come in off that left edge. All right. And then the the third setup is pressure off the right edge. So baseline press, you do that every single time here. Quarterback spy Ayers, quarterback spy Jackson, re-blitz Wolf, and then bring Harris in, and you can put him in a zone of your choice or man him up. I typically will man him up on a slot. Um, excuse me, I'll, I'll typically, I will typically man him up on a slot here, and then click off and find somewhere else to use her, and you see you're going to get pressure off the right edge. Uh, we got picked up a little bit, and that's why speed's important, which is why we need to pay attention to the depth chart we're going to set up later in the week. And then lastly, both edges, baseline press. You're just going to re-blitz Wolf, slide Harris in, and then I'll be aggressive with my coverage, maybe man up the deep blues on guys, play inside-out coverage on Bolden here. And you see the pressure comes in uh, with two guys. And then if they're blocking a halfback, we like to send the two-way heat. So just re-blitz Wolf like we just said. And then now we're going to block Gore. And you're going to see you're still going to get pressure at the quarterback. So be sure to add this play to your arsenal, guys. This is a really effective blitzing concept that we can use. And it's just a uh, fast setups and very effective. Uh, really good blitzes, guys. So be sure to add, the, add all of these blitzes into your defense. And remember, this is your zone front. And you can use this if they're on the left hash. You can send the right edge if they're on the right hash. Um, and just know that this is your zone look behind it, 3 deep, 3 under coverage. Thank you guys for watching. If you need further explanation, let me know in the comments below. But if you guys could do me a big favor and share this on Twitter, it really would help me out and give me some support. I would really appreciate it. And lastly, guys, if you have any questions um, or anything, anything for me feedback-wise, let me know in the comments or email me. My email will be in the description. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you tomorrow where we talk about our basic, um, our basic run defense out of this formation.